Call 1-800-DUI-AWAY or go to 1-800-DUI-AWAY.com. A great defense can be the difference between a dismissed case or jail time. 1-800-DUI-AWAY! It's another Jubal phone tab. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on moving 92.5. Hello? Hi, is this Val? This is. Hi, Val. This is Mo Lester. I was calling from the Homeowners Association. How are you? I'm fine. I did trim my hedges, like I said in the letter. Is that what this is about? Oh, no. This isn't about any hedges. I'm just calling residents in the neighborhood in regards to the upcoming Halloween holiday. Because we're going to be doing things a little bit differently in the neighborhood. What do you mean by different? Well, as I'm sure you understand, with today's explosive social climate, <laughs> we're trying to be as inclusive and respectful of other people's feelings as possible this Halloween. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I understand. Okay, I don't want to yeah. offend anybody. Well, sure. Mm-hmm, of course, who does? <laughs> anyway, we uh, don't want to offend anybody with any over-the-top Halloween displays this year. Like, for example, we don't want anybody to be using blood and gore in their decorations. Nothing too violent. Oh, well, I, I understand that. I mean, I don't think kids should be looking at that anyway, mm-hmm. so... So basically, no images of ghosts, goblins, ghouls, gremlins, garden gnomes. Basically, if it starts with a G, I would avoid using it as a decoration. Um, ghosts and goblins mm-hmm. and ghouls. This is all just normal Halloween stuff. Well, they are all extremely offensive and scary. Today's children are very sensitive and weak, and they don't want terrifying images thrust in their faces. So. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. What are we supposed to decorate with? Well, that is a great question. Let's say you wanted to put up an image of a witch. Okay. You can't use an actual witch, but you can leave the broom. I'm just supposed to put a broom on the front of my house? Yes, it infers that a witch has been there before, but there's no scary image of a witch. You can't just have a broom outside and infer Mm -hmm. that you're decorating. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, actually, I think it actually gives a little bit of mystery to it. You could open up the door and say, ooh, look, everybody, a witch has just been here. You can see by the broom. That doesn't even, it doesn't work. You're making rules that are outrageously stupid. Well, unfortunately, these are the times we live in, and you'll be fined $400 for any decorations that are deemed too offensive. $400? Mm-hmm. You have got to be kidding me. You are taking all the fun out of Halloween. You absolutely can't do this. Okay, well, I haven't touched on another thing yet. What the hell are you going to do now? What are you taking away? There's nothing left. Well, we've decided that the maiming and torturing of pumpkins will also not be allowed this year. Maiming and torturing pumpkins? Mm -hmm. I don't even understand what that means. It happens every single Halloween. The stabbing and gutting of pumpkins and then leaving their rotting corpses on your doorstep. (laughs) Sort of like a sick trophy. We won't be allowing that this year. Okay? Oh my gosh. Everybody carves pumpkins at Halloween. That's what you do. You put a candle in it. Well, think about all the torture that they've gone through. How would you feel? Did you just ask me how would I feel if Mm -hmm. I was a damn pumpkin? Yes, I did. How would you feel? Probably not very good. Are you a freaking moron? Mm Mm-hmm. This is a tradition. You know, slavery was a tradition at this country at one point, too, but thankfully we moved on from that, right? (laughs) Oh, my God. You're comparing slavery to carbon a pumpkin? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we're just trying to be respectful of people's feelings. Who's looking after my feelings? Because Mm -hmm. right now, I feel like killing you. Oh, well, somebody who would do that to a pumpkin probably would say that, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. You know what? Screw this. Go ahead and find me. Mm. I don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put so many murdered pumpkins on my Mm. porch, they're going to have to bring in the CSI unit so their blood just... You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to have Frankenstein skull skeleton right on top of my (laughs) mailbox so everybody that comes down the street can see him getting his undead (laughs) off. Oh, now all of a sudden you think this is funny? Yes. I'm going to have a scene on my front yard that this town will never recover from. Children will have to go to therapy. (laughs) Do you get what I'm saying? Do you feel me? Yes, I do. Uh, Why the f*** are you laughing at? Because this is a prank phone call. What? This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. (gasps) You have got to be s***ing me. (laughs) No, your husband Ron set you up. Oh, my God. You know, I thought I recognized your voice, but it's so stupid. I didn't want... Oh, my God, that's awful. Very, very angry there at the end.
I am sorry. I think Halloween is very serious. Yeah, obviously. <laughs>